The Supreme Court is currently arguing about affirmative action, and here's what stood out to me. First off, I'm sick of the left and right exploiting Asians for whatever agenda that they have, affirmative action included. Secondly, that they needed to constantly reaffirm that no evidence of discrimination against Asian Americans was found in the lower courts. However, I don't believe the lower courts, especially what happened in this last years where violence towards Asians has increased, but a lot of people who committing those crimes got slapped on the wrist. I don't trust the system. Third, that they could not find an Asian American witness to testify that they've been racially discriminated due to affirmative action. My question is, how would you find an Asian American? When you're rejected from a college, you're not given any information about why you're rejected. You're just rejected. Also, given the don't cause trouble nature of many Asians, I doubt many would be willing to testify even if they knew. Fourth, why are personal scores a thing? Why even do it if they don't make a statistical difference? And the last problem comes from this article that tries to detail that Asians are not being discriminated against because you did a bad job. While you argue that, yes, acceptance has risen, that does not show that we have not been discriminated against. To use a work analogy, we've been outperforming our co-worker, they get a 10% raise, but we only get 5 And lastly, I do know some Asian Americans absolutely hate affirmative action because, yes, it's been used to discriminate against us. But I also know that without affirmative action, they would just throw our application in the trash because they have no obligation to even look at it.